there's a device that I've been using called a Whoop. Correspondent Liz, and I'm here at this big open field with this wonderful electrical tower behind me to talk about weekly challenge number seven the We Bleed FPV building dives. An electrical tower such as this one with a large open field is fantastic for beginner divers. You have a lot of open space and you don't have to worry about hopefully breaking your drone. Building dives have created some of the best content from seasons one and two such as the Pinot Dive that leads us into our long streams every single week. Now let's head back to the studio so Dan and Liz can break down this week's requirements and prizes. Thanks field correspondent Liz. As many of the iGal veterans know, building dives is my favorite challenge week and dives in general are one of my favorite things to do when flying a whoop. Just like We Bleed FPV has been the favorite sponsor of the micro FPV community over the last couple years. Jeff Grabowski, aka Zotech, runs We Bleed FPV out of Syracuse, New York, and they have sponsored almost every major WHOOP event across the country for the past few seasons, including, of course, iGAO 2 and 3. This week, We Bleed has a ton of prizes, including a $100 cash prize that will go to one lucky pilot chosen at random, so be sure to submit a video this week. Check the players and prizes list in the description below for more information on the other prizes. We Bleed is consistently the largest sponsor at events and you can always hear the appreciation from the pilots as they loudly yell out, We Bleed! every time the company is mentioned. In addition to sponsoring events, We Bleed FPV has the best LED whoop gates on the market. You've probably seen them in countless DVRs on homemade tracks and seen them on courses around the world and be on the lookout because they also have LED cube gates coming out. We Bleed FPV also has their own 1S 300 mAh Whoop batteries, available with a PH 2.0 or a BT 2.0 connector. They are some of the highest performance batteries on the market. I have my own We Bleed FPV batteries and I highly recommend them. WeBleedFPV.com stocks items from Newbie Drone and other FPV companies, and they also provide other FPV services like repairs, technical assistance, 3D printing and trophies, and even FPV flight training. Check out the website, a link is in the description below, and be on the lookout for many new things from Weebleed because Zotech is always working on something. I know they have some big and exciting plans involving a new awesome location that will be ready sooner than later. Zotech here from WeebleedFPV.com. Welcome to Watropolis. Syracuse, New York, Destiny, USA. Ooh, -ee, that sounds amazing. We're gonna have to take a trip out to New York so we can check it out ourselves. Now, on to the requirements for weekly challenge number seven the We Bleed FPV building dives. Requirement number zero is that your video can be no more than 60 seconds in length and you must follow all of the iGAO 3 posting rules. Requirement number one is that you must find a tall building or some other tall man-made structure that is at least three stories or 10 meters tall. The only exception to the man-made rule would be a cliff face. Trees are not allowed. Requirement number two is that you must dive down the face of your building, staying as close as you can. You can do this by either flying sideways down the building or by rolling to make sure that you're able to stay close and not float too far away. Once you reach the bottom, you must fly away. Do not crash into the ground. That is not good for your drone. Requirement number three is don't get caught if you do anything illegal. But seriously, please don't do anything reckless or stupid for iGAO. If you're unsure if something is a bad idea, then run it by me or another player first because it's probably a bad idea. Many people's opinions differ on this part of the hobby, but I think there are responsible ways to go about doing borderline activities that make the risks very minimal, especially when done with whoops. Do 
Ask your friends for advice and be careful. Don't just go diving a building in a crowded public area with traffic. Yes, please use common sense and good judgment when choosing when and where to do your building dives. If you can't fly in cities in your country because it's totally illegal and you have no other options for man-made structures or cliff faces, then please contact me and we may allow you to use a different option like a tree. Because We Bleed FPV is the feature sponsor this week, we have several bonus challenges for different types of dives, such as the tightest crevice, the tallest building, or closest to the building. You can check the player and prize list in the description box for further details. As we've said before, this is my favorite challenge, and if you've never done dives before, then I really think you'll enjoy the rush you get in the middle of a really good building dive. Have responsible fun with this week. Good luck and happy whooping!